Hi, thanks for signing up for OneDesk. OneDesk is a unique app that combines help desk and project management. Let me show you around. On your screen, you're probably looking at something like this. This is the Get Started menu, and it can always be reopened from here. The Get Started menu has a few sections to help you learn about OneDesk, but for now, I want to bring your attention to the Quick Setup. It is important that you complete the steps in this wizard. Once you do this, your account will be fully set up. You may still want to tweak a few things afterwards, but you can use it right away. Down at the bottom here, you will see our chat box. This allows you to ask our support team any questions that you have. Just ask your question. We will answer it either immediately or by email soon afterwards. Once your quick setup is completed, you will start to get tickets and customer records created in your account as emails arrive from your customers. Tickets can be found under the ticket icon here. Tasks can be found under the tasks icon here. In OneDesk, all your tickets and tasks are organized into projects found here under the projects icon. Projects can be shared with your users and customers. If you want to, you can organize your projects into portfolios. To take an action on anything in OneDesk, just click the action menu next to it. For example, in the tickets app, you can view the ticket details, delete it, insert a new one, and much more. You can even multi-select to take actions on many things at once. You can also double click on the ID of a ticket to look at its details. This shows the ticket details in a new tab. Here you can modify it, reply to the customer, or post an internal message. This works for tasks too. For example, inside the Tasks app, I can open the task details. Here I can change the status. And I can post an internal message to my team. I can go back to the task list at any time. And I can close my tabs when I'm finished with them. To navigate around in OneDesk, you only need to know three things. First of all, you need to know the app you're in, like tickets and tasks, the project level you currently have selected, and the view you're in. These three things work together to determine what you are currently looking at on your screen. You always know where you are by looking at the breadcrumbs at the top here. So you can see that I'm currently looking at my tasks app, I'm looking at all projects, and I'm in the tree view. Views allow you to filter, group, sort, and define layouts and columns for your stuff. Views are divided into the main views at the top here, and custom views down here. The main views consist of things like tree view, flat view, Gantt view, status board, etc. And custom views can be defined by you by clicking here. We've pre-created a few custom views for you. You can feel free to edit them or delete them as you see fit. To create anything new in OneDesk, you use the Add menu at the top here. Here, you can create things like new users, new tickets or tasks, or any of the things you find here. Let's create a new ticket. Ticket has been successfully created. The Tools menu has a variety of tools, and under your name, you'll find some useful links to various things. I encourage you to explore these, but one thing I would like to point out are these links to your customer apps. For example, I can select my customer portal, which will open my customer portal in a new browser tab. The Messenger is found down here. This app centralizes all your communications in OneDesk, whether it is messages from team members, 
live chats, or emails from customers. You will never miss anything when you use the OneDesk Messenger. With OneDesk, you don't need to worry about how you are communicating with someone. Just post your reply here, and they will get it, live in a chat, post it to the customer portal, or by email. OneDesk takes care of the details. Under More Applications, we have apps to manage timesheets, customers, users, activities, and more. All OneDesk apps have videos covering their features if you want a deeper dive into any specific area. One final thing I'd like to point out is the Administration app. This app allows you to configure many things in OneDesk, like statuses, custom fields, forms, email options, automations, the customer apps, and lots more. OneDesk ships with some pretty good defaults for these, so I recommend you use OneDesk for a bit before changing things. And as always, we are here if you have any questions or need any help. Thanks for using OneDesk.